And all you need for this is a piece of paper. I use Fabriano paper for this. Um, some ink. Uh, I'm using liner truck inks. So usually you use this for liner prints. An etching needle and a nail carton. That's all. And I am also using a how do you call this? So a while ago I found this little drawing I did a few years ago in one of my drawers and I really like it, especially because it's so small. So at first I thought to do a, a lino print of this, but then I saw something uh, on Instagram and I found it so much fun. So I redid the drawing on my iPad and because I wanted to draw a woman instead of a man and then I printed it out at the size of the little milk carton bit I have and that part I will trace now. So first I'm going to tape the little drawing to the milk carton bit. So, and I'm taking a pencil and just trace my drawing quite lightly. So there was no lead in my pencil, so that didn't work. So I took another pencil and then I trace it lightly. I think this works. Let's see. Mm, I should press a little bit harder. There is no tutorial on the internet, I think, that explains how to do this, because I looked everywhere. Because I wanted to learn how to do this, and I couldn't find it. So I hope this will be fun for you guys as well. It's totally new. I'm glad I used some washi tape. Yeah, it shows up really lightly, so that's good. It is so small! <laughs> oh, this is going to be tricky. Because I like working small, but this is really small. Especially because I have a camera in front of my face too, so I can't come up too close to the paper. Of course, there's a lot of symbolism in this drawing that I did. Um, I made it for someone that was really supportive of culture and arts and this company was about it was called was translated from good grounds um so i believe that if you sow is that how you call it if you plant if you sow then you will harvest all the good that comes from it so that's the symbolism behind this. And then I can start etching now. So I will keep the image here as a reference and then I start etching. I had to move the camera a bit because um, I have to see what I'm doing. I'm I have really bad eyesight, so <laughs> I hardly can see what I'm doing, so next time I have to press harder on the pencil. You want to press quite hard on your etching needle, but you shouldn't damage the milk carton either, so <laughs> it's to find a good balance. It's so tricky to do a kind of print stuff whether it's etching or lino so much different from pencils digital this is so trial and error <laughs> so i'm not uh, pressing my etching needle like this that would be scratching and in an etching plate you would do that, but because this is paper, cardboard, so... Oh crap, I made a little mistake here. <sighs> okay. Because here, close the hole, the first one. There we go. So yeah, you want to press hard, 
but not too hard so you're damaging the paper it's a really tricky balance so what i wanted to do is i don't want to draw these lines but i want to keep scratching so it, have, it has more of the soil feel to it can't believe i missed uh, messed this bit up already but <laughs> i still find it hard to do something and concentrate properly and talk at the same time explaining what i'm doing it might seem easy but it's quite hard to be honest oh it's so tricky to find that balance between pressing hard so you have to make a dent otherwise the ink will will not get into this but also you don't want to press too hard so that you damage the paper See, now you can see that this went well. And I should go in a little bit deeper here. You want to have that contrast, so along these lines you want to press a bit harder I do enjoy making these kind of things because um, I do a lot of illustrations for companies and usually it's digital <laughs> most of the time because there's not a lot of time often and this just gives me time to just play and experiment and Experimenting is really important to develop your skills and I don't have time to do it very often but it is important. This looks really soily, this is good. I wish I could do it a bit bigger but my milk carton was only this wide so it's really small. So. I will pick up a bigger milk carton next time, so I can make a bigger etching. So when I was googling this technique, I actually didn't find anything using milk cartons. What I did find was Colograph. Um, Colograph is using all kinds of stuff to make a print. So you also use leaves, and other just pieces of paper to make uh, to make an etching um but no one used milk cartons <laughs> so i am figuring this out i did a few test runs there's really quick ones but this is my official bigger one and i'm doing it on camera immediately so if i fail you will see that I'm failing and I don't mind because it's an experiment and I really really enjoy this honestly this is really nice to do what you can also do is cut out bits so I'm contemplating whether to take a knife and then just cut out a shirt here or maybe the pants Hmm. Let's just continue and then I will think a bit more about that. I so hope this works. It would be amazing. I did etching in art school actually in a plate, an etching plate. don't know if I really liked it very much. I think I liked screen pin printing better. I can't remember, it's been so long since I went to art school. It's been 13 years since I graduated. Let's draw a little seed here. So I don't know if I mentioned it, but everything that I am scratching is going to be black. So that's good to know. I'm going to make the stem a little bit thicker I hope 
my camera might move a bit when I'm scratching, but that's because I have to add quite some pressure. Hmm, I think we're almost there. It's just the details now. Just want to define all the edges just slightly more because with my test I noticed that it doesn't the ink really has to go into the drawing. I have to add a little seed here on its way to the hole. I'm so impatient, I really want to test it, but I know I have to uh, do every edge more clear now, just to make sure. I hold it against the light so I can see where there are bits that I haven't scratched properly. Because this is paper, you can only use it a couple of times for prints, so I, I took four little pieces of paper. I think that's the maximum you can do. So it's, it's a lot of work with just four prints, but yeah, it's really lovely to do, honestly. Um, this way you can almost see how it works because this almost seems white and this seems black. Still thinking whether I should cut out maybe shirt or the pants. Maybe I will just try it once like this and if I want to cut it out I can do it later after the first after the first print. This woman looks really creepy. <laughs> I wonder how that will look like in print. Let's see. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use this ink. So I'll just try I ask a friend, she makes a lot of etchings and she said that lino ink should work. So I trust her opinion. Why am I mixing this with my finger? I'm an idiot. <laughs> anyway, I will just, oh, this is really, this is exciting. Um, do I dare to do this? Okay, let's do this. So I'm rubbing it in all my little etchings with my finger. Don't ask me why. So get it in all those little holes little scratchings. Now what you do next is you take away whoo, you take away all the excess ink. This is not for people that want to keep their hands clean. I do want to clean it as much as I can because with the tester I did, where is it? I cleaned it as much as I could and then still this showed up. So you want to get rid of that excess, excess, excess. Oh, what is this going to be? Okay, I will do a test. So what I'm going to do is, I am. Um, this is a, my pasta machine. I said noodle machine. It's just pasta machine. And take my paper. <laughs> this is very expensive paper. Um, well, first, should I tape this? Why are there no tutorials on this? Okay. Should I tape this? I don't know. And I will. Put this in the pasta machine. Oh, it's very stiff. Let's see. Oh my god. Oh look! It's actually not that bad for a first round. Because I do feel that there is no... Mm, there should be more contrast. I think I will cut out a little bit. So 
So the trick is to move the paper and not the knife. Just if you want to try this, move the paper, not the knife. I've been cutting a bit hard here, almost went through, oops. So I just want to remove the little silver layer of the paper. Oh crap. I got lucky there. So this will be all black next time. It is important to get a good knife for this. So these knives, this, these precision knives are really good. Um, these ones are not so good. So for this kind of job, use these kind of knives. Ni knives. <laughs> knives. What else didn't go entirely well? Mm. The fingers maybe. Just want to try again. Keep it tight. I'm really happy with this. Uh, the ink didn't take there very well, I don't know why. Sounds maybe a bit silly that I like this so much, but <laughs> I do like it very much. I also like that the imprint of the cardboard is near the edges. My last piece of paper, so probably the last round. Yes! <laughs> It worked. It's not the best ever, but I really love it. It's so tiny and cute. Still the pe person in the... She is kind of mean and evil. So that's it. It's all you need is an etching needle uh, and a milk carton and maybe a pasta machine. But, and some ink of course. But. So easy and so lovely to do. So um, if you guys are going to do this, please show me on Instagram and I can repost it. That would be really nice. So this is the aftermath. <laughs> it's quite messy. And uh, I tried another one and made, look, I also made this one and I made these prints and I'm really happy with them.